Final Cut Pro 10 was updated to version 10.3 to include touch bar support on the new MacBook Pro, and you can see it right here. So I'm in a project right now in Final Cut Pro, and you can see the touch bar support is pretty basic. You're gonna get some basic editing tools, such as the ability to choose the tool or select the tool that you wanna use. So if I wanna to switch to the blade tool, I can do that. If I wanna zoom in, I can do that with the magnifying tool, etc. Uh, so there's that. There's also some audio tools that you'll find. So you can change the volume, you can change the fade, you can even incorporate a silence directly into that clip with the press of a button. And then there's some basic trim functionality as well, along with the ability to scrub through your timeline just like that. Pretty cool, right? But that's pretty much the extent of it. Now, if you go into the media browser, you're gonna find some playback tools, some basic playback tools there. You'll also find the ability to import media or create a new event or new project but it really is basic when it comes to touch bar support for Final Cut Pro 10. For instance, with color correction, if you open the color board, you'll find no touch bar controls for color correction. Now compare that with the latest update to DaVinci Resolve and DaVinci Resolve Studio. You're gonna see a stark difference between these two as far as how touch bar support is handled. Here in DaVinci Resolve, you have these four different sections here and there's contextual touch bar content in each section. So if you go to media, you get media controls for content ingestion and management. Uh, if you go to your editing, you get editing centric touch bar features. If you go to color, you get some really cool color features. And if you go to deliver, you get some delivery features. You can choose where you want to send your content after it's finished. So needless to say, it's very impressive implementation of touch bar support for DaVinci Resolve. You have all these features for media ingestion and management. For instance, you can search, you can even add bookmarks, you can even add markers directly on your clips. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. If you go into the editing, you have all your various editing tools there. You also have a little scrubber, so you can scrub the timeline, similar to Final Cut Pro 10. But DaVinci Resolve is known for its color grading tool set. And it doesn't disappoint in that regard when it comes to touch bar support. The color grading touch bar support implementation is fantastic. So you have all these different sections that you can go in to adjust things like contrast or color temperature. And it uses these sliders so that you can slide and adjust the temperature or any other uh, particular color element on the fly like that. So yes, I am impressed with the effort that the engineers over at Blackmagic Design have put into touch bar support for DaVinci Resolve. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac. <laughs>